last Laravel 7 lesson, we got our template set up. And we have our home and about page with working links. In this lesson, we're going to go a bit further and continue cleaning up our template. So we're going to go to our views and then our layout slash app.blade.php file. We're going to go to our nav. We're actually going to not cut out the entire nav. We're not going to cut out the entirety of it, but we are going to cut out the actual links themselves. And we're going to cut those and then replace them with at include and then sections.nav. After that, we need to create our sections directory within our resources views directory. The sections folder is going to have a nav.blade.php file. And then we're just going to paste out our navs there. Then we're going to add a comment that just says primary navigation links. And since we're including using the at include directive, we're including this file and our layout, this should all work. If we reload our page and test out our nav links, booyah, good to go. With that working, let's get going to the next step. In our previous lessons, we worked on posts. So we have the posts endpoint where we have all of our posts and then we have a show post endpoint where it uses the ID to show a specific post. Instead of using JSON to output just the data of our post, let's actually turn these into entire views. Let's give them their own page. To do that, first, let's go to our route slash web and let's see what, how those endpoints are being handled. And you can see they're being handled by our post controller. So since they're being handled by our post controller, let's go open our post controller and let's scroll up. So our index method, it is currently getting all of our posts. So this time let's set that to a variable. We're going to call that posts. After that, let's return a view and whoop, that's going to be view here in a sec. My bad guys, but we're going to say view and then posts dot index and then change that to what it's supposed to be, which is view. And then we're going to compact the posts, passing them in. After that, let's go to our resources, our views, and let's create a new directory called posts. Within the posts directory, let's create index.blade.php. All we're going to do is we're going to say add extends and then layout.app. And then we're going to say section end section using that at section blade directive. And that section is of course going to be our content. After that, let's simply output using Blade's mustache braces. Let's just output our posts. What do we get? Well, we got the HTML template, but by just outputting posts, you can see we still have that JSON format. It's just the posts data. We're not using it. So let's use it and represent it in a way more readable for the user. We're going to use this at for each directive for each posts as post. And using this app for each directive, we have access to each post. We're going to make a div, give it some really simple styling. We'll come back and make this all prettified later. But right now, let's just give it a padding of 10 PX and a margin top of 10 PX. Then let's do H2 and we're going to output the post title. And then after that, we're going to use the P tag to output the post content. Save that file and let's reload it. See what we got. And la la, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but we have posts on our website page. So let's take this a step further and let's actually link to our single post page 
from our index page. So each post title will actually have a link to the individual posts page. By simply referencing the slash posts and then post ID, we do that. And there we go. We can click through and now we get the individual post. And each post will go to the individual posts page. So going on this idea, let's give each individual post their own beautified page. So back in our post controller, let's go to the show method. And let's just say post equals, and then currently we're using this post where ID is the post passed in, the post ID passed in from the route parameter. Let's change that up. Let's just do post equals post and then colon colon find that given post. That will return us a single post instead of an array. Then we'll return this view post.show and that should be posts.show and then we'll compact and pass in the single individual post. After that, we'll go to our views post directory and we'll create the show.blade.php file. We'll copy the index.blade.php and we'll just use that as the default for show.blade.php and then we'll simply remove the for each. Clean it up a little bit and voila, should be good to go. Now when we click through a post, whoa, what is that? Okay, this is actually a pretty good example. Um, so it is showing our single post properly. It's just not loading any of the CSS or JS assets properly for that page. And so that leads us into our next thing. Back in our show.blade.php file, the only place where we could really be messing up is the extends layout.app. And to be honest, we're not really messing up. This is just a weird browser loading thing. So what's going on is in our views layout slash app.blade.php, we need to actually add the backslash in front of assets. And if we save that and then go back to our browser and reload the page, it works again. Honestly, not sure if there's a reason that it worked on the other pages, not this one or not, but it's a good bridge into our next um, blade topic, which is helper functions. And one of the helper functions is asset. Asset just allows us to use the helper function to reference assets slash CSS slash main.css. But what's cool about this helper function is that you can either have the backslash or you can remove it. And so if we save that and reload our browser page, still works. So let's use that asset helper function and let's scroll all the way down to the bottom of our page and use it to load all of our JS files, all of our JavaScript files. So we're just gonna add the mustache braces, use asset, and then of course, use the single quotes. Once we close out the asset, we are now good to go again. And so if we reload our page, it all works. We can go to all of our posts and la la. The last thing I wanna do in this lesson is whenever we go to a single post, we have to actually hard code the back button in. So let's go to our show.blade.php just really quickly, just, I, I, just because it's cool. Let's add a back button. And the back button is just going to redirect us to all of our posts. And while we're at it, adding that back button, let's also add a new nav link. So let's go to views, sections, nav.blade.php from our last lesson and let's just add a new link in that will allow the user to actually click a link to get to our posts index page. Finally, back in the browser, let's reload and let's test it out. So we hit our post link, we go to the page we're already on. If we go to a single link or single post, we have a back button. Second line.